for Carson Wentz. And here we go, the start of the New England Club Championship. And Skimbo will, will juke and jive, will spin move, gets away. And he'll be taken down at the 40-yard line. That's where Michael Skimbo will start his run. Skimbo's always said his special teams is underrated. If you kick the ball off to him four times in the game, he guarantees at least one run back. So Skimbo will be, the, of course, both going to be the Patriots today. Skimbo will be in the Navy uniforms with the silver pants and Rose Bowl, even though he's his home's only 15 minutes away, he'll be the away team today in white. And Jackson with just a quick drag for one yard. He made sure he got the open read. He looked through his checkdowns, found it there, looking to move on. Of course, that's Deshaun Jackson. So second and nine for Skimbo. Rolling to his right, and he'll just throw it away. Already a big third and long. It looks like Rose has done his homework. He's been able to take away what Skimbo wanted to do. Skimbo making sure he had no chance of taking that sack. Got rid of that ball really quickly. So third and nine. Wentz throws it, and it's going to be Lurt. And Rose Bowl with Anthony Barr, one of the community favorites, one of the best users you can use with a big-time interception, and he's going to take over the 39. Wow. If you told Rose Bowl he would start by picking off a skimbo pass on the first drive, he would say, I'll take it. He needs to capitalize on this. That was the team leader, Anthony Barr, and Skimbo's already going to use a timeout. So he's thrown a Stevie. Got lurked by Anthony Barr from Rose Bowl, and he's already burned a timeout. Do you think he's blaming Dummy for that Carson <laughs> Wentz throw? He's <laughs> I wonder if Dummy had anything to do with him picking that Philly quarterback. Well, he threw that into triple coverage, which is very uncharacteristic of Skimbo. Rolls ball with a huge opportunity here. He's got Aaron Rodgers in the gun. That's base Tevin Coleman off to the left. And he'll hand it to the 83 Coleman. And he'll break a tackle. And he's got some speed. And Rose Bowl will take it to the house. And he's got an early lead. Wow. Skimbo said he wasn't really confident in his offense, but his defense was completely locked down. And that was what was going to get him there. They couldn't wrap up. Rose Bowl got that seven after the stop. You know he has to feel good. Extra point is up and good. And after the turnover, he turns it into points, and he turns it into seven. And so couldn't ask for a better start for Rose Bowl. And Michael Skimbo, with only 44 seconds gone by in this game, is already on the ropes. I know he said he wanted four kickoffs to be able to take one back. But I don't think he wanted him to score four times in order to get him. So a first and 10 from the 20. Skimbo's got Tyreek Hill out there. Of course, running Shazier at tight end. And he'll keep him in the block. Quick throw to Deshaun Jackson. He reaches for the first, but he's going to be just shy. Now, second and one is where you get a chance to open up your playbook. Rose Bowl's going to have to make sure he doesn't give up anything big over the top, but try to make sure everything that underneath is checked. Especially with Tyreek Hill out there. Sides a hand off to Jeremy Langford who breaks a tackle and gets to the 34 and that'll move the sticks. Skimbo just happy to see that first down. He's going to be, I wonder if he's going to be a little gun shy after that first drive or is he still going to be able to air it out like he normally does. Picked up a majority of his first downs in the Madden Classic on the ground. Has time. And he's just going to tank off with Carson Wentz, the former North Dakota State Bison in his second year, and he'll make it a second and six. You got to love how Rose Bowl has uh, stuck to his scouting report. He seems to be all over everything Skimbo's trying to do. There's not one open receiver. And once again, he'll use his legs, and this time he'll pick up the first down as he turns the corner. And so a new set of downs for Skimbo at the 45. It looks like Skimbo is content to take his four to five yards of Carson Wentz. He's going to either have to spy him or come off something, or else he's just going to keep moving the chains, moving the chains, moving the chains, and then hoping it gets set. Bunch to the right. Wentz has some pressure, checks it down, and there is Shazier. You're going to see a lot of that today 
Uh, that's one of the way the players save a lot of cap room is they have a, one of their middle linebackers play both ways. This time it's Shazier picking up four. Off the back foot, Wentz. And Tyreek Hill will move it past the 50 to the 43-yard line. First down, Skimbo. Good thing he got wrapped up there. If Tyreek Hill would have broke that tackle or been able to avoid him, that was six. Tyreek Hill having a good year in real life as Deshaun Jackson gets turned upside down, second and ten. It seems normally Skimbo has people wide open. When, he, when he's running his offense, there are people, he's not usually throwing into coverage or making tough throws. Rose Bowl seems to be right near every single thing he's throwing. Is Rose Bowl a veteran player? He's had some success. All day to throw it, checks it down to J.J. Nelson. And the Arizona Cardinal will take it to the 34-yard uh, line, but it's going to be third and one. Now, third and one could potentially turn into a fourth down. And you know how we joke about Madden players not bringing their punters. Rose Bowl actually said he does not have a punter. <laughs> yeah, he's going to have to use his kicker if he wants to get it done. As Shazier takes it to the 29-yard line. So Skimbo trying to answer back after he turned it over on his opening drive. That led to seven points for Rose Bowl. Quick throw, and Nelson couldn't haul it in. Had Richard Sherman closing in. Closing in wasn't even the word. He is so lucky, Skimbo. That would have been a pick six. Dan, he'd been down 14-0. Now, you know when you don't get that pick, that usually gives you something afterwards. So that's a go Shays here in the flats. That'll pick up another five yards. And that's pretty much the narrative of Madden 18 this year. Don't want to force it downfield. Take the check downs. Work on the running game. And, and on the other side on defense, you also have to be very patient not to give up anything downfield. Wentz has time. Goes to Tyreek Hill. Spins towards the marker. And they will give him a first down. He had such a small window to fit that pass in. As soon as he cleared that linebacker on that drag route, you got to love how Skimbo timed that one perfectly. And here comes the loop blitz. Finds Shazier again. And Shazier having a big drive on this second drive for Skimbo. 53 passing yards down for Wentz. Now here's where it gets interesting when you get down to this red zone. Skimbo's going to need to score probably from about here, maybe a little bit more. Once you get very close, players have had a lot of trouble getting seven this year inside the five. Yeah, he's inside the red zone, a couple yards away from being in the dead zone. So he's an outside of Shazier again. Shazier's fifth catch already. And I know RG is somewhere in this world fuming <laughs> at seeing these tight ends catching all these balls, but that's the matter right now, my friend. You got to take what the defense gives you and take what the game gives you. So 67 seconds left here in the first quarter. Rose Bowl leading by a touchdown, but Skimmo knocking on the door at the five. Now here's where you have to find out if he has run defense or not. And remember, run commit is not run defense. Seen them run this play several times in the classic. And Jeremy Langford will fall down at the three-yard line. Second and goal from the three. He wants to run a that guy around the back of the end zone and high point him. If he decides to put it in the air, but he goes back to the ground and Langford maybe picked up half a yard. Yeah, it looked like he had an opening to the left, but he was just so intent on coming back to the right in the middle. This is going to be a big play right here because I don't think he's willing to go for it on fourth. I'd probably take the points more than ever. It's very important to take the points. And he'll go back to Langford, and Langford will power his way in and pinning the extra point. We're tied here in New England. And Skimbo has to be the happiest man alive right now. He did not want to have to make that decision on fourth down. Langford got in. Now the game's tied. He's able to relax, breathe, and actually now get a chance to play some defense for the full length of the field. Well, I thought he might be wearing that Randy Moss jersey that's proved to be so lucky for him, but just rocking the Need It hoodie. Speaking of Need It, got to send a great shout-out to Dubby. Thank you. I got my delivery. Rock solid Need It shirt. <laughs> he was the, one, the first one to break the Rico curse at the Madden Bowl last year. That's true. 
So 7-7. Seven, seven. Of course, Rose Bowl representing the uh, top Madden community. That's part of the problem rights movement. And I'll tell you what, they got a, a, a pretty good stable of Madden competitors. Uh, over there at Top Madden. They might need the denim an extra stable. It seems <laughs> like they have about 30, what, 40 guys on them? It's all of Madden. I don't know about Top Madden. <laughs> so under five seconds to go in the quarter here. Second and 13 after the loss. rosewell has got to be feeling pretty good, though. Scored on his opening drive after an Anthony Barr interception on Skimbo's first drive. And now in his second opportunity here trying to put together a drive to give them a lead. Now Skimbo was again bragging on his defense and everything that they could do. He was playing with a short field last time. See if he's able to change up his luck. Had a huge run by Tevin Coleman. That's just the 83 core elite. Broke some tackles and was able to get free and something tells me this time he's going to have to put a legit drive together. <laughs> oh yes, he's definitely going to have to do that. Third and seven here. It's going to be interesting to see if he tries to pick it all up or he knows it's four down territory everywhere. He just takes something underneath and lives to play another man. And this is the true test. Do you have a play for third and seven, fourth and seven? Throws it into coverage and Hill can't hold on. And so now we have our first fourth down of the afternoon here in semifinal number one. Staying true to his word, even though he's on the 35, there is no punter coming on that field. This is where Skimbo can get this stop, change the momentum of this game, and get it right. Well, you only, you know, it's five-minute quarter, so a 20-minute game, you only get about five possessions on average. And he finds, and Juju dropped it. Wow. That has to hurt. He had a great read, great, great delivery. Just couldn't, just couldn't haul it in. I thought the former USC Trojan had it, but Schuster Smith drops it and Skimbo takes over. Just as good as a turnover. And there's Jackson fighting his way to the 26. It'll be second and short. If you're Rose Bowl, you got to put that drop behind you. You got to lock down on defense here. Skimbo's already in field goal range. You got to get that three instead of allowing seven. See, now the game's even backed up where Rose Bowl had a possession advantage. We're back to the status quo. There's a Shazier, holds on to it. Six reception, but goes nowhere. So it'll bring up third and one for Skimbo, who almost had a heart attack. <laughs> the way he threw that flutter ball out there, he was so worried that his guy was going to come back out with that one. You got to, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Big tackle by Sherman. This time goes to the flats again. It's, you guess it, Shazier. I'm having, I know it's not Gronk on a fullback dive, but I'm starting to have some flashbacks uh, from Colin Madden 16. Wentz all day, and he'll take off. And the second year man playing for the Philadelphia Eagles will pick up the first. Oh, gonna mark him just shy, second in inches. You know, when you slide down, it's where the ball is, and it was just behind the line. Yeah. He used every bit of that speed in order to get there. Just wasn't able to get over that. Oh, great call. Goes to Langford. And Langford carries Shazier for Rose Bowl down to the six. The thing about Shazier, he got a lot of speed, but he's not like a Ray Lewis or someone that's a run stopper. Really, the run stopping linebacker is uh, few and far between in the current NFL. But Anthony Barr comes up and makes a big hit. Yeah, right now they want to make sure all their linebackers can cover in space. Wentz, looked like he had a man in the back of the end zone. That's J.J. Nelson who was working his way besides to sort of dump it underneath. And that's third and goal from the five. Huge play right here. You know if you're Rose Bowl, if you can get this stop, don't give up that touchdown. More than likely you're going to hold the three here. You got to play sound defense. Yeah, Rose Bowl will get the ball to start the second half. And he goes to Langford on a little delay, but he's going to be just short. And it's decision time for Michael Skimbo. This is a tough one. Oh, you got to really kick, kick it. That's the longest <laughs> yard ever. <laughs> you have to kick it. You hate to kick it, especially with Rose Bowl getting the ball to start the second half. You got to take the points here. 
And it's up and it's good. Now, if you're Rose Bowl, you have a chance here. If you can manage this clock and put together a touchdown drive to go up four into the half getting the ball. And if you can capitalize on that to go two possessions in that early second half, it could be huge. You've got to make the most of this drive. Short kick by Skimbo. Taken out of bounds at the 32-yard line, and that's where Rose Bowl will start this drive. Trailing by just a field goal here in the opening game of semifinal number one. T. Davis and returning champion shut it down. Will be in semifinal number two. Ooh, that was a big tackle. There was a lot of daylight ahead of him on that one. If he didn't bring that one down, he might have been looking at a quick score. So second and four now. And I believe that'll take us to the two-minute warning. So Skimbo able to bounce back after that early turnover that led to the touchdown for Rose Bowl. Had a big drive, but stalled out at the one-yard line. Had to settle for a field goal. So now Rose Bowl has a huge opportunity. If he can get points here and then the ball to start the second half, he'll have the advantage. He'll be in complete control of this game. And that's what you want to do. You want to have Skimbo playing on his heels. He's too good of a player to allow him to dictate pace of the game as well. Up under center. We'll go to Coleman. Coleman takes a big hit from Krause. And he'll be shy fourth and one. And he's out near midfield, so no question he's going to go for this. With 90 seconds left in the half. This could be the biggest play of the game right here. You got to pull out your best play. I might even look forward to passing and scramble with him just to give him a, a more of an option. Wow, he called the run. And he went with Telvin Coleman, who's a speed back, but has shown the ability to juke and jive his way to midfield. First and 10 from the 49. That was a gutsy play call. And there's Aaron Rodgers. Can't get away from Vernon. Second and 15. That clock is ticking. Remember, he has all three timeouts, but you can't let too much time go by. Gets it to Telvin Coleman on the outside. And he does get out of bounds, so that'll stop the clock. Three timeouts left for Rose Bowl, two for Skimbo, but a big third and 15. <laughs> now he wishes he didn't get out of bounds, because third and 15, this is a must. He has to get at least eight to ten yards here. You don't want to put yourself in that position on fourth down where Skimbo can just send the dogs. Yeah, he might end up punting it if he happen to lose yards here. Just 50 seconds to go in the half. Not able to pick up the blitz. And that was Jadavion Clowney who gets in there for his first sack of the game. And with fourth and 25, he's going to put in his kicker, Carpenter, to do the punting. Wow. Remember back in the day, your, your kicker and your punter did the double duty. Absolutely. So it was only a while until it got really specialized punting. And you can see, that's not going to go that far. He should have just went for it. <laughs> yeah, ball to 47 now. I mean, maybe you throw it up and hope for an interception or, or an aggressive catch, but... Not the greatest punt you'll see. Joe, Joe Theismann is still envious, though, of the length of that punt. I don't know if you remember. I think, I think Joe, I think he punted at negative seven yards or something like that. It, was, it wasn't wide right. It was like back right. <laughs> <laughs> so second and ten. 36 seconds to go in the half, and we got some movement along the line, and Leonard Williams is going to give... Skimbo five yards. Now, if you're Skimbo here, are you playing for three, or are you going to try to get seven? I think you got seven on your mind here, you know? That Rose Bowl is going to get the ball at the half, so you're trying to make it a two-possession game. And there's a Sean Jackson who drops it. Couldn't hang on down at the 25. you got to bring that one in if you're D-Jack. I know Skimbo was excited, had that read over the middle. That would have opened up a lot of things, moved the ball down. Now he's on the third and five, only 32 seconds, and he's already used two of his timeouts. <laughs> Wentz trying to go to work. Jackson again and once again can't hang on downfield. Spent all that money on his defense. Yeah. It's coming back to haunt him a little bit. I would say that 65, 70% of his cap is on the defensive side of the ball. You see with Jeremy Lankford. I mean, 
Jackson and Hill are, are you know, viable receivers, but you don't have someone like a Randy Moss downfield or someone that can really hold on to the ball in the possession game. So he's going to punt it away. Back-to-back -back unicorns. <laughs> and this one's going to land inside the 10 and takes a formidable bounce for Skimbo, and he'll down it at the 6-yard line with 20 seconds to go. If you're Rose Bowl, you got to be real careful right now. If you're Rose Bowl, you might want to call that QB needle <laughs> or just take a little bit of run and just see if you can break something with that. You don't want to take a chance of turning the ball over and giving away points going 20 seconds left in the half. Yeah, he might hand this off to Coleman and see if Coleman can break another big run. Had a about a 47-yard run for a touchdown on his first possession after the Anthony Barr INT on Skimbo to get him at seven points. Stalled out the last couple times he's had the ball. There is Coleman. Nice I shake and bake to the 25. I think Rose Bowl shake to make himself <laughs> out of a touchdown there. Yeah. He had a lot of daylight ahead of him. All he needs to do is break that to the outside a little bit. Got a little too fancy. May have cost him seven. The guy MJD always says get to the numbers. Didn't get there on that one. First and ten goes back to Coleman. This time Paul Krause says hello. He might take this to the half. Don't want to take another hit. Don't want to take another chance. So at the end of the first half, of semifinal number one, Skimbo came back with 10 unanswered to be able to make it a 10-7 game. That man right there with a three-point lead at the half over that man, Rose Bowl, who was in the driver's seat, really felt like he was in control of this, this Rico when he had the big interception with Anthony Barr. And I was thinking, okay, now Rose Bowl's got an opportunity, had the big run by Telvin Coleman, but then Skimbo start playing some defense. Skimbo showed that the defense he had, he got it for a reason. He may do his offense was struggling a little bit, but he wanted to make sure that he gave himself a fighting chance, and that defense is what saved him, because this game could have got ugly quick. Well, Rose Bowl's been there before, and he's going to get the ball to start the second half. And he's only down by three to the number one player in the world. I think if you told that ahead of time, hey, you're going to get the ball, you're only down a field goal to start the second half, would you take it? He'd probably say, yeah. He'd take it in a heartbeat. <laughs> to know that you are in control of this game in the second half. We, we talked about it. You can put a price tag on your salary cap. You can't put a price tag on peace of mind. He's already had to punt, and he got stopped one time. To be that close and to be in this situation, given those first half stats, you'll take it. Every day. And I think if you're Skimbo right now, you're thinking, well, I just gave up a big run to Tevin Coleman. That's that's really the only thing that Rose Bowl's done on me. Besides that, I, th I think since that very moment, he might have negative yards uh, on those two other possessions that Rose Bowl have. Absolutely. And even with that, Tevin Campbell broke a couple of tackles to get to that run. So you can put that one behind you if you're Skimbo. Just remember, hey, look, he got a, he got a, a fluke run. I've been in control. <laughs> I've been in control of the defensive side of the ball. You just got to get your offense clicking. This is anybody's game. Well, we can talk about it, but why don't we show you? Here's the first half highlights of semifinal number one here in the New England Club Championship, and it was a big interception to start it off. That interception definitely set the game on fire. This is where, if you ask Rose Bowl, I'm sure he was thinking, I got this. <laughs> I'm going to run away with it. I'm blowing him out. Well, so after the big interception, it was this Broken tackle by Tevin Coleman. In the backfield, notice that. If Skimbo wraps that up and brings it down, we might have a completely different ball game here. So after the seven nothing lead on a big third down, Jeremy Langford powers his way in to tie it up here at Foxborough. I don't know if Skimbo thought he was gonna get that kind of production out of Langford, but I'm sure he'll take it. Of course, Rose Bowl with a big drop on fourth and seven by Juju, and he couldn't believe it. Yeah, I mean, that was the big play, the big drop on the fourth and seven. He had the ball, felt like he had a little momentum. Uh, of course, Skimbo stalled out on the next drive down at the one-yard line to make it a three-point game. He needed him to grab that ball. Right now, if you are Rose Bowl, you have your reads, your receivers are catching it. You just need to not get flustered and play your game. By the way, share it out with your friends here. We're on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch. Those on Twitch are getting match, uh, Madden drops right now, so they're enjoying it. And of course, we've had a pretty good first half here. What does Rose Bowl got to do on this opening drive? He has to get seven. 
You don't want to give three. You don't want to allow. You want Skimbo playing from behind. You want him to have that additional pressure. Right now, Madden is easy for Skimbo. <laughs> and, and you want to turn that difficulty up just a tad. Yeah, and he, he did it with the running game. I know it was uh, maybe somebody would say a bailout play or a fluke play, uh, able to break two tackles with Tevin Coleman. But uh, he's going to need a little bit of that Madden magic in the second half to to get by that Skimmo defense that's just loaded with Avengers out there. <laughs> that's an understatement. The guys he have out there, it, it, amazing. But Rose Bowl needs to make sure he plays his game. Don't come out here. Don't try to do too much. Don't try to get it all in one play. Take what the defense gives you. Yep. Move the ball and get your touchdown. Well, that's enough of us. We're ready for the second half. It's a three-point game. Skimbo has a just a field goal lead, but Rose Bowl will take in this second half kickoff, and just like he did before, will take the short kick out of bounds, and it is just a three-point game. Of course, with five-minute quarters, you only got ten minutes left in this to do some work. It's going to come down to some turnovers. Turnovers and stops. You got to make sure you score every single chance you get. Hands it off to Tillman Coleman. But since that big run, I mean, Polly Kraus, the legend, has been coming down into the box and laying the wood on Tillman Coleman. They are who we thought they were. <laughs> <laughs> and if you can look, Skimbo is locked in and focused. You can tell he's making sure that he. They're not even bending. It's not even bend, don't break. It's just don't bend. <laughs> a lot of cover three out of Skimbo right now. Third and eight. Ball to 36 for Rose Bowl. It's not the opportunity to go four and out here. He needs to put together a drive here to start the second half. And he needs to make sure he finds the open receiver here. Do not try to force it and give Skimbo a chance. Tyreek Hill on the drag. That'll make it a fourth and four from the 40. He was so worried about Skimbo. He threw that pass so early to make sure that there was no chance of him getting picked off. He's got Keenan Allen out there as well. You can see him going out wide left. He's yet to find the San Diego Charger superstar wide receiver yet in this one. Fourth and four. Has time, and there is Keenan Allen to move the chains. Skimbo thought he was going to have a shot to get to that one. Did you see when he jumped yeah. with his user? And the funny part is, if you remember Skimbo, back in Burbank, he said, if you're never supposed to be able to get to that pass. I'm going to keep throwing it because you shouldn't get there. He wasn't going to be able to get to that one. If you're Rose Bowl, got to keep throwing it. So now first and ten after the big catch by Keenan Allen. And he'll go to Tevin Coleman. Got caught up there, but still a good run on first down to move the chains. You got to make the most out of those runs there. And Skimbo gives you those opportunities. That could have been seven points as long as he would have just been able to get around that one blocker. You got to make the most out of these opportunities. And that happens a lot when you're holding down turbo. If you can lay off the gas for a second, it gives you a lot more mobility. This time going nowhere as Vernon is in there on the initial contact. With it being the ball where it is in the 34-yard line, you got to make sure you don't take too many more losses right now. You could wind up looking for three. You don't want to have to make a decision you're uncomfortable with. Yeah, you need to at least try to tie this game. He throws it into traffic, and Kraus couldn't take it away. And that's actually going to be a first down down at the 22. Big play for Rose Bowl. Huge play. And some might even say a lucky play. Skimbo keeps shaking his head knowing the game's going to give him one sooner or later. It's just when will it happen? Well, Juju Smith dropped one in the first half, but this time holds on for the first down. Rodgers back to Tevin Coleman. He almost got at it again, Rico. <laughs> yes, I think Richard Sherman saved the day on that one. That was about to be house music. So second and 11. Already three minutes gone by here on this opening drive to start the second half. Rose Bowl trailing by a field goal. He's going to want to take the lead here. He's, he can't be playing for three. So you're going to need to try to move that ball. And that is picked off by no other than the man from the U, Ed.
Edward Reed. You gotta go get him that chain. <laughs> yeah, do we have the turnover chain in the house? He, did you see he was actually at the game? Yeah, and oh he yeah. had his own. <laughs> yeah, he's it's a big time win for the Canes over the Irish. Skimbo with now the lead in the ball. And Wentz trying to escape the danger, but he's gonna lose one. Yeah, I don't know. Skimbo thought he was gonna be able to wiggle through that. That was that hole wasn't big enough. You needed to just make sure you don't lose any more yards. So now from the 10, Wentz. It's a easy Sunday throw to J.J. Nelson. And that's going to gain five. It's third and six. Gives him a little bit more room to operate. Makes him a little bit more comfortable out there. He's going to want to move these chains. Not now, but right now. Look at that chaser again. And he throws an interception. This might be six, but J.J. Nelson saves the day. So Ed Reed does work for Skimbo, and now he does work for Rose Bowl. Look at Rose Bowl. You see a little bit of fire getting lit? He's like, hey, I can stop with the big dogs also. He feels like he's supposed to be on this field, and he can play with anybody. And now he's got the ball after another huge turnover at the 13. He was able to turn it into points last time. Coleman is tripped up at the 13 as he runs into the back of Yonda. Now, you know you have three here. You know you can tie this game up. Make sure you make the right plays here. Although you're going for the lead, you don't want to leave anything on the table. Scott Cole, Rico Williams with you here in the second half of semifinal number two. The number one player in the world with a three-point lead. But Roosevelt's got an opportunity to Take the lead with the touchdown. Double tight end. Up under center is Rodgers. Play action. Everybody's covered. Skimbo's got nine people in coverage. Hey, I'm going to go get a ham sandwich. Let me know how this play turns out. And he finds Keenan Allen at the eight-yard line. <laughs> Once his spy got engaged, that opened it up a little bit. But Skimbo made sure he was not going to fall for anything and he wasn't going to get beat with that end zone. He's definitely trying to hold him to three. He's got his head in his hands here on third and five. Maybe thinking about that interception he threw to Ed Reed. Now, I'm not saying that Dubby is the reason why Skimbo <laughs> wins, but the only time I've seen him lose is when he didn't have that crowd. He didn't have that motivation. Like right now, he's getting down on himself a little bit. Yeah. He has to get out of his own head. He has to just concentrate and remember, I am the number one player in the world. I'm supposed to win this. I'm supposed to get this stop and make it happen. You can't allow yourself to take one play into another. Put your fours up. It's a third and five to start the fourth quarter. Rose Bowl can still get a first down here. Big third down. And he'll go to delayed handoff, and he'll bounce outside, and he's into the end zone. That's Get yourself a Telvin Coleman. Rose Bowl has the lead. <laughs> that is the look of defeat on Skimbo's face. He hasn't lost the game yet, but you can definitely tell he lost that battle. He knew he had that stop in the backfield after that broken tackle, and then you watched him corral himself for another six yards. He well, got not only did the you had a broken tackle, but then you had Skimbo lose a, a, a tackle battle uh, that really led to the first down. And then he spun his way over top of a defender into the end zone. So Telvin Coleman, with a little bit of Madden magic here for Rose Bowl, he's got the lead with 4.55 left in this one. The champ is on the ropes. If you're T. Davis or shut it down, <laughs> Are you extremely excited now, thinking that Skimbo might lose? Or are you worried that, oh my God, he just beat Skimbo. I, don't I think, might have yeah. to face him. I, I don't think either of those guys want to face either of these guys. Uh, it's arguably one of the best four we've had in a club championship thus far. Yeah, I definitely think this four takes the game. Off his back foot. Big time hit from Kraus on Hill. That's going to bring up a second and three. Field goal won't help. He needs a uh, sort of a bread drive here. 
That was a great blitz. Wow. Shazier just comes screaming through. Skimbo had kept his running back in the block. But Langford made a better statue than a running back on that one. Third and 11. Goes to Jackson, and this time he holds on. I know Skimbo was looking at himself like, about time. I needed you to do that in those other drives. I might not be down for it right there. Fourth reception for 37 yards for Deshaun Jackson. A new set of downs as Wentz rolls out. He's going to scramble, slides down at the 45-yard line. He's happy to keep getting positive yards here. Although it's not the big plays he's accustomed to, it's still moving the chains. You either need to score quickly here or you need a four-minute drive. Jay-Z Nelson, wide open downfield. That sort of looked like a Salem pivot route, but it's actually just a, a deep dig by J.J. Nelson. And that looks like the old skimbo we were accustomed to seeing. He's starting to get his swag back. He knows that clock is also ticking, so he has to be mindful. Finds Deshaun Jackson a little drag to the 29, and boy, that deep dig to J.J. Nelson. He's just continuing to run this play over and over, but you're seeing all the different uh, reads and hot routes that he's running off this bunch formation. Second and four. And there is his tight end to the nine-yard line. Who? <laughs> the only thing, Who? The only thing <laughs> here is that nine-yard line is one of the toughest areas to score from. Skimbo hates his red zone offense even more than he hates his regular offense. So look for him to try to, and three doesn't help him here. It's Casey Critter, silver tight end with a big catch. Wentz will high point it to Hill. And it looked like he was in, came out, and gets the score. And the champ takes back the lead. I, I was just as amazed as Skimbo <laughs> was with that play. You can see how visibly happy he is. Now, the question is, can he lock up for this drive right here? There's two minutes and 55 seconds left. And this won't be blocked because once your guy fake jumps off sides and has to recover, you never block him. So once you see that, you know you're in the clear. <laughs> you know you're good. You know you're good. And it's a three-point lead, but a bunch of time left on the clock with 2.55 to go. Here in the fourth quarter of semifinal number one, T. Davis and shut it down coming up next on a full day of Madden football, 4.30 Eastern. It's the Seahawks Club Series, but we still got a lot of work to do here in New England. Speaking of a lot of work to do, Rose Bowl has to get down there. And you don't want to give Skimbo another shot. Even though you can give up another three and still be good, you can't. You need to take control of this game once again. He needs to get down in field goal range and then go to work from there. 15 carries for 92 yards from Tevin Coleman. And he's had two huge runs off a broken tackle. Second and seven from the 34. A little motion to the right. Picks up the blitz, has time. Playmakers up the field. And that's just going to be an incompletion, but that was a dangerous throw from Rose Bowl. Dangerous is an understatement right there. He had that wheel route early, but he couldn't throw it in time. Tried to break that angle. By the time he got out there, Skimbo was able to recover, get that underneath that other route. It's a good thing he deep padded that one out, or that could have been going back the other way. Well, that's the problem. You got Ed Reed and Paul Krause back there. And they've been playing up close to the line. You can see all his defenders within eight yards of the line of scrimmage. Rodgers and Joey Bosa with a huge block shed for the sack. That is why he used that cap on him. He is a huge Bosa fan. Speaking of Bosa, did you see uh, Shut It Down, the Ohio State sweatshirt? Yeah. <laughs> Said that's his mom. That's who he's looking to rap. Yeah, both both the Bozas. Joey's already made his way to the pros, and the younger one's going to have an opportunity. And it's the two-minute warning in a huge and fourth and 14 after the sack by Joey Bosa. You know my favorite question is, fourth and 17, do you have a play you can go to? <laughs> he said he did. Fourth and 14, he's going to have to pull it out here. 
in the fourth quarter. Of course, that's the 85 mutt hero, Joey Bosa, if you're wondering where you need to head to on the auction house. Fourth and 14, biggest play of the day. Aaron Rodgers squeezes it in the window, and Keenan Allen comes up with another big grab. Look at the determination on Rose Bowl. Look at the fight. He is not giving up at all. And that clock is just ticking away. So that had to be a smart routed in route that sort of became a dig route there. Got him 15 yards on fourth and 14. And Coleman advances it past midfield. It's probably about 12 to 14 yards away from field goal range. He has Dan Carpenter as his kicker. Coleman to the 40. The, he needs to go to the True Boy Tweez Band School of Stick Work. <laughs> He's had so many opportunities where he could have broke these runs into big runs or touchdowns, but he hasn't been able to capitalize yet. I want to correct myself. Dan Carpenter is a kicker, but he has him as his punter today. Uh, Janikowski, the powerful left-footed kicker, is his guy that will be taking if the field goals if he has the opportunity here at the 39. Still think he needs about four or five more yards, this course, without me knowing the win. You're, you're probably right. But he doesn't want that three. You don't want to get into that coin toss game. You don't want to leave Skimbo a chance to win this. Think about it. If you're going to wind up taking three here. Oh, this is definitely four down territory. Up under center. Third and two. We'll go to Coleman straight up the gut, and he didn't get there. That was a great animation he got there in that tackle. Made sure he didn't get the first down. Made sure that he didn't get involved in the tackle battle or any kind of fight. Fourth and one. Fourth quarter. Clock ticking for all the marbles. This is it. This is fourth in the game for Rose Bowl. You know the skip took that timeout? Make sure you gave yourself a chance. He's only got three down linemen here against the bunch formation of Rose Bowl. Motion to the right. And he'll hand it off underneath. He'll pick up the first down and more. You got to give him credit on that one. He went back to that same run that he called on fourth and short last time. Wasn't sure if he was going to give himself some options with the pass play. Didn't take that chance. Uh, do not audible down to that halfback base. Goes to it again. This time makes a move, and Ed Reed was the last man to beat. So he's in field goal range. It's a 40-yarder from there. Second and one, trailing by three. I know you could have a chance to get a touchdown here, but you got to make sure you at least leave yourself an opportunity to tie it. Only one timeout remaining for Rose Bowl. 36 seconds left in the game. And there is Joey Bosa once again. And that pushes him back seven yards. So now it's a 47-yarder from there. And he had the opportunity to get a new set of downs on second and short. That was a huge sack by Joey Bosa. Perhaps the play of the game. Perhaps. That's definitely the play of the game. That has changed the momentum. That changes everything. And now that's, that's your game-saving play. You're going to get the ball back with about what? 25 seconds, 24 seconds yes. left? Yes, somewhere in there. Fourth and seven after the timeout by Skimbo. And Janikowski, the hefty lefty. You're just trying to, you're holding down A right here. Because you're just, you're praying to the Madden up. gods here that you don't get this blocked. There's a superstition that goes around. If you, if you run it down to three, no, oh, he's going to snap it. And it's up, and we are tied here at Gillette Stadium. Now, I'm not, I'm not that superstitious. <laughs> you know, some people call Skimbo the new GOAT. 23 seconds left on the clock. 23 for your Jordan. Do we see, <laughs> do we see a game time? I don't have the credentials to, to comment on any of that. <laughs> but we'll see what Skimbo does here. As he brings it out with Ed Reed. Ed Reed has a crease. He's wrapped up at the 32, so no timeouts. 19 seconds left. The 
The worst thing that could happen here is you give Rose Bowl any sort of opportunity. He's already turned over it twice on his side of the field. And those turnovers led to 14 points. Wentz. Can't get rid of it. See if Rose Bowl decides to use a timeout or if he'll just let this clock continue to move. Oh, I definitely think he, he just wants this. He's willing, he wants to see that coin toss. Put it on the coin yes, toss. Yes, put it on the coin toss. Last play of the game. Will we head to overtime or will Jeremy Lankford? Nope. <laughs> the answer to that is no. Yeah, Jeremy Lankford, nah, going to get it done. <laughs> so we are heading into overtime here. Scott Cole, Rico Williams with you. And tell you what, Rico, uh, we have gained nothing here. <laughs> we, we played 20 minutes of Madden, and uh, it's all going to come down to this opening drive. If you're Skimbo, you got to remember that game against Swedes. You've been in this position before. You've been in that hot seat. You've been in this overtime game. You want to win that coin toss, and then you want to make sure you get seven, end this game, get out of here. Well, Rose Bowl has won the toss, and he's elected to receive, so he'll have the ball first. Skimbo spent all this cap on defense, and he's going to need a huge stand to start this overtime. A lot of people wonder what would have happened if he lost that coin toss against Tweez. <laughs> I think we're going to get a chance to see exactly what would have happened because he's been having the same issues trying to get a stop and trying to do all that that he had in that game. He needs to really buckle down. Ben, don't break. Yep. If you give yourself three, if you give up three, you're okay. You just cannot give up seven by any means. Well, we've yet to see a sustained drive from Rose Bowl. He scored 14 points off of turnovers. He did have one drive that ended in a, in a field goal that uh, pretty much tied the game. It's going to come down to whether Skibbo is able to take away that seam route. It, whether Keenan has looked great here, where Skibbo's receivers have dropped it, that's where Rose Bowl's guys have been able to hang on to that ball. He needs to take that away, don't give away the zone top, and wrap up on his run defense. Well, to quote you, absolutely, he needs to do that. And we are ready for the overtime action. A little free Madden. And we mentioned Skimbo is kicking off to Rose Bowl. And another short kick by Skimbo. And he'll step out of bounds with line at the 32. And that's where this drive will start for Rose Bowl. He needs it here. And Skim uh, Skimbo needs... <laughs> His defense to stand up. Yeah. We, we saw Ed Reed with the turnover chain earlier. Is he going to be able to hold on to it? Skimbo needs him badly. Yeah, Ed Reed had an interception for Skimbo, and then Skimbo turned it right back over on an interception for Ed Reed by Rose Bowl. So Ed Reed's played big for both of these guys. Goes to the ground. And if, if I'm Skimbo, I'm a little scared here because Tevin Coleman's got 130 yards. And he's been a tackle-breaking machine this game. And we're one broken tackle away from, really, Rose Bowl moving on to the finals. Second and seven. Goes to Telvin. And a big-time tackle on the outside. That is Rondé Barber. That was a huge tackle. He gets past that. He had a lot of daylight ahead of him. Third and seven. Ball on the 35-yard line. you got to get off the field here if you're Skimbo. It's the 91 le legend, Rondé Barry. Third and seven. Coleman again, and we got a fourth down already. Oh, my. Fourth and three already in overtime. He's gone to Keenan Allen here a few times when he's needed him. If he runs this ball. <laughs> there's, there's no... He might run it with Aaron Rodgers here, but there's no easy, way. Easy, easy, easy. You, you call a running play here. You want to make sure he doesn't <laughs> keep Little that motion. Scene. Throws it in the... Yes! Ed Reed with another INT. He was throwing it to Juju Smith up the seam. And Ed Reed, he's already in field goal range. A field goal will win it. I'm not going to say going I to it. He's going to it right now. <laughs> he said, I'm not playing any he's games. He's not messing around with anything. And we already got a timeout by Rose Bowl. I'm not going to say I called it, but I said Rose Bowl needed to throw that team. And Skimbo needed to take it away. And Ed Reed with the turnover chain. He got the pick. Got it done. I don't know if I, if I 
kick this right here. I would have probably ran the ball a couple times. And he's got Caleb Sturgis as his kicker, 85 overall. And I think he's going to try to see if he can move himself a bit closer here. Goes to Langford. Selling all out his Rose Bowl. It's a gain of zero. But forget about the clock. The clock doesn't matter right now. It's all about getting a few more yards. And he's, he, he's deciding he's not going to gamble. He's sending the field goal unit out right now. And another timeout by Rose Bowl. <laughs> he's, he's, he's not, uh, wants nothing to do with the ice right now. Now, if you're Skimbo, you see him running at the run commit. Do you try one play action, or do you try to throw it <laughs> one time just to You see? can't lose any yards. That's the only thing. You can have a run commitment that can come in on a pass. And he'll go to Langford on the give here, and he's actually going to lose a yard. So now in third and 11, it's now a 50-yarder. So the drama is thickening here in New England. It's only semifinal number one, Rico. If you're Rose Bowl, you got to take away the underneath, and you got to watch that Shazer out. You don't want to get make him beat you over the top because you know he doesn't want to throw that unless he absolutely has to. He wants to. Oh, he's, he's going to go back to the fullback. No, this time he goes with the. So he must feel like the range is 50 yards. So he gets one more yard here. This is to win it. Skimbo with a 49-yarder. This will advance him to the finals. And he's going to be a little superstitious here. The snap, the hold by Wentz. The kick is up, and it is good. And Skimbo escapes by the skin of his teeth over Rose Bowl. And you see the sportsmanship there. Rose Bowl. Of course, only has a 15-minute drive back to the house. I don't know if that makes it any easier.